Hi, this is Sibila Extreme Vocal and a quick tutorial for unlocking your whistle register. The case is very simple, you just use the glottal compression, which is something like It's a bit like a hiccup, but you don't inhale the air, you exhale it. So you perform this glottal compression, known also as a glottal stop, and then you try to delicately, but firmly, drive through it and make a squeak, like... Once those short noises are consistent, easy to obtain and comfortable, you can try to increase their length gradually. And once they feel easy, comfortable and consistent, you can start to add a distortion, whether it's a mm, or wow, or a fry or or something like false chord or a mix of different types of distortion combined together, you can just try to add just just a bit to this clean whistle. To obtain a whistle register scream. That's the thing, that's the simplest exercise I discovered, it works very good for me and the most of my students. And once you master it on a proper level, it can sound for example like this. During the practice, remember to be careful and observe your body. Even if it won't hurt, you might easily create a lot of extra constrictions, especially in the beginning. So learn what pitch, what level of intensity, volume, support and compression serves you best. And try to stick to it, especially during first days or weeks of practice. And if you will feel something like you had a noose around your neck, and you are squeezing those sounds through your constricted larynx, then it's not a good way to go. This sound might feel more like a pinch. A pretty firm, but rather gentle pinch, not like you are about to squeeze something. It's firm, it's kind of determined, but you don't push really hard, and you don't tighten up your larynx as if you wanted to, I don't know, break a glass in your hand. You just hold the glass, you drink water, but you don't tighten your hands so much that the glass is breaking. It's also very important to not overdo the practice because you can easily trigger a lot of constrictions and unnecessary exhaustion of your voice box. It's good to observe your body and learn when it's good to stop and rest. Sometimes even just five minutes of practice is totally enough. Of course, after a decent warm-up, a singing warm-up, because it's very important to properly prepare your voice box and vocal folds for this type of activity. So sometimes even just 5 minutes will be enough to make a progress. Sometimes you can practice for example 2-3 times per day and each session might be like 2-3-5 minutes long. So you don't have to practice like 20 or 40 minutes straight or maybe even longer time. Shorter, more frequent session, observing when to stop, what is the proper level of intensity, volume, pitch and so on. And then you will make those little but consistent and safe and comfortable steps forward. And gradually you will master the whistle register and you will learn how to scream with it. In my case it took about 6 weeks and I practiced every day, something between 3-5 minutes. I always took care of my voice so I did a proper warm up and after the practice I also did a short cool down. How to do a cool down? You can for example yawn. You can make sounds while yawning too. And let your whole vocal tract to stretch, to open. It's good for relaxing the jaw, 
the root of the tongue, and of course, the larynx and the vocal folds. Humming is also nice. Mm, mm, or woo, 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 or woo. Gentle sounds. If you will be tired, they will be more breathy. They can be delicate, but they don't have to be breathy at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, mm. This is also a good uh, cool down exercise. Or sounds like mm hmm, mm hmm, as if you are agreeing with someone. Mm hmm. A cool down can take one, two, maybe three minutes. And it's very important to observe if you really feel more relaxed in this area and if your voice feels simply better and less fatigued. If yes, that's a sign that you properly did a cool down. And a proper cool down can help your voice regenerate, recover faster, and be ready for the next practice much earlier. Alright, so here we have it, a quick tutorial for unlocking and practicing your whistle register. In case of any questions, feel free to write comments below the video, I will do my best to help. Thank you very much, have a great practice and see you around, bye!